Panthers here and welcome to a video log. You're probably wondering why I'm doing a video log. And you're also probably wondering why my hair's so fucked up. Let me answer both questions for you. My hair's fucked up because it's just so long. Look at this bad boy. Oh, let me just... What's up, y'all? That's my face. Anyway, um, so I'm like Professor Green, man. Just having that slick comb over, you know, bringing it back, bringing it back. I want to see, I want to see, I want people to tweet me those comb over pics. Even if you don't usually have comb over hair, just do me a favor, just comb it over, send me a picture, I'll retweet that, that's standard. Um, so the reason why I'm doing a video log, guys, is because Ultimate Team is down. Shocking! Everybody is disgusted with FIFA. I've been getting people tweet me all day, like, you know, Ultimate Team's down for 24 to 36 hours. This means I can't play games on Ultimate Team, obviously. Uh, so I asked you guys if you wanted to see a video log, or a become a legend, or um, a head-to-head -head seasons live com match, and most people went for video log. Quite, it was a close second with become a legend. You guys seem to really love that series. I'll have that out for you tomorrow. Um, but for today, we got the video log. And if Ultimate Team comes back any time today, I'll put a bonus video up later on tonight. So you should be seeing this video about four o'clock. The bonus video will go up about ten o'clock if Ultimate Team comes back before then. So I asked for some questions on Twitter, guys. But first of all, I've got to do something that I promised to someone I would do in the uh, the next video log. So there's this video. Um, I'll leave the link in the description, and it's called Pajar or Pajaritos Little Birds, and it's this, right? Listen. And it's really funny. And the reason why it's funny is because. I can do it. I can actually make that sound with my mouth. So here we go. We're going to do it. This is going to be fucking embarrassing. I might cut this bit out. You ready? Little birds, we look so pretty. Little birds, we look so nice. So there you have it. There's my uh, little birds impression. If you guys want to tweet me your little birds impressions, feel fucking free. So as I said, guys, I asked for some questions on Twitter. Uh, I'm going to keep this vlog quite short, probably around 10 minutes or so, um, because it's getting late and I'm trying to fix my sleeping pattern. I've been going to bed at like 7 o'clock every morning for like the last two weeks. And then last night, I got into bed at 2 o'clock and just crashed out and it was brilliant. I woke up at like 9.45, fresh, awake, and thought, yes, this is great. Um, and now here we are at quarter past two and I've got to get up at like 9.45 again. And... Um, I'm not tired, so that's gonna suck. I'm probably gonna be up to like four or five o'clock. It's gonna really be sick. It's, it's gonna really suck. Um, and also to dispel some rumors, I'm not ginger. I'm as brown as you like. Oh yeah. Um, I do the I do the flick. Yeah. What's up? Um, so the first question we've got, guys, is realistically, who do you want Arsenal to sign and why? And that's from Declan. Uh, realistically, I want Arsenal to sign Messi because he's the best player on the planet. End of. Um, Saints fan says, what are your favourite TV shows? So I've got a few favourite TV shows. Uh, old school TV shows, you've got like Hey Arnold, uh, Bernard's Watch, which is something I was talking to people about on Twitter the other day. If you guys don't know what Bernard's Watch, right, it, watch is, right, it's this thing, right? So this kid called Bernard, who was a fucking douchebag, had this watch, and he clicked the watch, and it would just stop time, except him. He was still perfectly acceptable to go on about his day, um, and do pretty much whatever he wanted, right? So Bernard used to do things like stop his watch and then when somebody was speeding and he'd write them a note, like slow down and he'd put it in their car and then like he'd start his watch and this person would be like, oh my God, better slow down. Where did that note come from? And they'd think nothing, nothing of it. Fuck that, first of all. If a note just appears in front of me, I'll be shit in my pants. The other thing he did, he went and took some milk out of a shop and didn't have any money, so he stopped his watch, took the milk went home, got the change, went back to the shop, put the change on the counter and then left again and then started his watch again. So the bloke's there sitting there and all of a sudden there's this change on the counter and the milk's gone and it's like, dude, if you've got a watch that stops time, you're a fucking millionaire. You don't need to go and get change from home. Just get the money out of the till and put it on the counter. He's not going to know the difference. I, I don't understand this guy's mentality. Like, if I had Bernard's watch, and I want you guys to put in the comment section what you guys would do with Bernard's watch, and if you really don't get the concept of what it is, go and, like, YouTube it or Google it or something. So, if I had Bernard's watch, not only would I just, like, rob shit all the time, because what could you do? Um, I would fuck with people so much. You know, like, imagine you're on the tube, right, and you're just sat there, and there's this person sat in front of you. you stop time, you put somebody else in their place, and you start time again. 
literally at the blink of an eye, somebody else is sat in front of you. Or like, you know, if again, like most of my things come from the tube because I'm always sitting on the tube when I think of these stupid things. So I'll be sitting on the tube, I'll just change everyone's clothes because it'll be fucking weird and it'll be brilliantly funny. I, I can't, like, I laugh to myself sometimes on the tube, I'm sitting there like, <laughs> people must look at me like I'm crazy. Fortunately, I've got headphones on, so, you know, I could just be listening to some comedy or something on the way home. Um, but yeah, I would fuck people's shit up. And you can imagine, like, in football games and stuff, like, you're, you know, somebody takes a shot, it's weak as shit, but it's trickling towards a goalkeeper. The goalkeeper's getting ready to just scoop the ball up. You just stop time, jog onto the pitch, move the goalkeeper over a couple of yards, start the time, ball goes in. Bob's your uncle. You, you're winning a game all of a sudden. Um, so put in the comment section, guys, what you guys would do with Bernard's watch. Uh, I can imagine raping women is one of the highest things that's going to be used out there because, you know, like, oh my God, if I could use Bernard's watch, I'd go and fuck Britney Spears. Well, yeah. Um, but yeah, and, and also, do you reckon Bernard's watch already exists? Because how would we know? How would we know any different whether or not it existed or not? We wouldn't. So... That's one of my favourite TV shows from back in the day. Wow, this question's dragged on. Uh, currently, I'm watching like um, Suits, which is due back in January, which I'm excited for, and Criminal Minds, which is due back this month. I think next Friday is the next episode for Criminal Minds. Uh, so I really can't wait for that. They're, they're like two TV shows that I would love to watch, I always watch. Um, and then I've been watching The Walking Dead, right? And there's a massive hype about The Walking Dead. Um, but I, I just don't get it. I don't get it. Like, zombie apocalypse. Like, that's never been done before, you know? It's all a bit of bullshit. Like, the episodes are so slow. Very predictable. It's just standard Hollywood trash that somebody's thrown out there and the general public has got hooked on it for whatever reason. And um, it's just... For me, it just doesn't do it for me. Like, I get told, like, keep watching it because in season three, it gets really good. So I'm, like, halfway through season two persevering, like struggling to watch these episodes. Sometimes I actually have them on in the background whilst I'm playing FIFA or some shit. That's how much they bore me. Um, but hopefully in, in episode three, in season three, it gets real good. So they're the TV shows that I'm currently watching. Also, like I like things like um, uh, King of Queens and for, again, from back in the day, My Wife and Kids, stuff like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, Andy Levis asks, have you been outside the UK? Yes, I have. I've been to America. I've been to the Bahamas. I've been to uh, like... Holland, Greece, Turkey, um, France, Spain, a few other countries. I've been, I've been like a, a, a fair few places. I, I, I've travelled like quite a bit, which is really fortunate. But yeah, so I have been outside the UK. Alex nine eight zero zero says, "Best live goal you've ever seen." Now, does that mean live when I'm in the stadium? If so, um, the best goal I've ever seen was. Probably Messi against Arsenal um, in the Champions League a few years back because that was an insane goal. Uh, the best live goal like I've ever seen on TV or something like that. There's two, and this is going to be me like again biased, even though the first one was Messi. Like me com being completely biased. So two of the greatest goals I've ever seen like whilst watching the the, the game. Uh, one of them was Burkamp's goal against Newcastle, where he did the Burkamp flick around a defender and finished it off. That was fantastic. The other goal that I think is just unreal was Henri's goal against Man United where he flicked it up to himself and then hit it on the turn and volley. That was just insane as well. So they're probably like a couple of the... They're the first ones that pop into my head, you know. So next question we've got is from Connor Maidman. He says, why are EA so fucking useless? Answers on a postcard. Uh, Greg from KGT Legit HD. Favourite Ninja Turtle and why? My favourite Ninja Turtle was always Donatello. Right? I had to think about that for a second there. Um, Donatello, the purple guy with the wooden stick. I don't know why he was my favourite turtle. He was just my favourite turtle. Um, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Like whenever I, I used to have like turtle game on the Game Boy. I'm looking in my hands like I've got a Game Boy. I haven't got a Game Boy. They're empty. I'm, I'm even try, pretending like I'm holding a Game Boy. Um, so I used to have like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the Game Boy and always be Donatello. And I don't know why. And I hate Michelangelo. And I also don't know why. Because they're turtles. Like, why would you hate a turtle? Um, Levy Grimm says, what were your favorite video games as a kiddo? Let me, I'll see if I've still got one of them that I really used to like. Um, hold on, it's it. Yes, here it is. This, it's a bit dirty. This game, can you see that? Is the camera good? This is Football 2004. So this game's nearly, what? Fuck me, 
bad math, nearly nine years old, um, which took me back to when I was 18. This game, go and buy this game. It's the greatest game ever made. It's such a good game. Um, so other than that, when I was like 15, 16, 17, I used to play uh, Civilization 4 for fucking decades, man. Like, I got really, really involved in that game. I used to, every time I'd go and see my dad, because I, I didn't used to live with my dad until I was like 17 years old. I used to go and see him on the weekends and like he'd be working Friday night or whatever, you know, busy and stuff. So I'd just go, basically I'd stay with my dad from Friday through Sunday and I'd be with my mum Monday to Thursday. Um, so I'd go to my dad's and I would just play Civilization 4 or Championship Manager. I think I've actually got the original Championship Manager. Yeah, look at that. Not the original one, but the one that made their series big. Look at that, Championship Manager 3, there it is. Old school gaming for the win. As you can tell though, guys, like I hoard my games. I really, really do. And let me, sh uh... no, I haven't got them all here. So I've got like lots and lots of copies of the same game, right? So when, when I was, uh, Probably 18 or 19, I used to live in um, the pub that I'm in, I work, like I run now, I used to live above it. And one of my best friends fell out with his parents, so he came and stayed with me, he came and lived with me, like I had a huge room. So we had like two double beds in there, we had a, an awesome gaming set up, a nice like lounge area as well, and it was just, it was generally pretty awesome. So I used to have a PlayStation, we used to play a lot together, but we wanted, this, when first online gaming first started to become popular, sort of 2005, 2006, um, we wanted to play online and we didn't really understand the concept too well. So I went and bought like another PlayStation and another copy of every game I had so that we could play online together even though we could just play together on the same console. Uh, it's stupid stuff, I don't know. Um, so I used to play like Football Manager or Championship Manager a lot. I used to play Sid Meier's Civilization a lot. Um, I used to play FIFA, Pro Evo, uh, those sort of games. And then uh, again, I don't know if I've got it again. Um, let me have a look. No, it doesn't look like it's there. So I used to play things like LMA Manager, um, and then there's this game um, for the PlayStation, like track and field game, and you just used to sit there fucking button bashing your head away. Um, and I don't know why you'd button bash your head away with your thumbs and the control pad, but that's what that's what I was doing. I was button bashing my head away. And I uh, used to see people, like you'd do the 100 meter sprint and you'd get like 8.5 seconds and you'd be like, shit yeah. And then like, you'd see the number one ranked in the world and they'd be on like 6.9 seconds and you just think, who can physically tap buttons that quick? It's impossible. Um, but that was a great game again, like really, really fun to play. Um, I, used, I spent so much time playing video games when I was younger. Um, so the next question is, do you think Tea Time with Dave should be made into a series on YouTube? Sure, why not? Some people might love it, you never know. Um, Christian Locke says, when was your first time having sex? Uh, it was the first time I had sex. Yes, I'm pretty sure it was then. Hovac says, will you marry me? No, but would you mind telling us one of the most memorable moments as a teen for you? One of the most memorable moments as a teen for me. The first time I had sex. Um, next question we've got is from Matt Vale. Nepo, if you could be in the shoes of any Arsenal player right now, who would it be? Um, probably the Ox, just because I think he's one of the most talented players we've got. Maybe Wilshere, just because like, you know, I want to be I want to be one of those talented guys, so I really like Ox and, you, Ox and Wilshire, um, so I'd be one of those two, I guess. Uh, Howard St. John says, do you like sweets? If so, what is your favourite? Um, I love sweets. I don't tend to eat them so much anymore. Uh, I used to eat loads as a kid, like seriously way too many. Um, I guess my favourite sweets... I, I, don't, I don't really have a favourite sweet. You know when you go to like the pick and mix at the cinema and stuff? Those like red lacy things, they're pretty awesome, so I, I'd guess those. Um, Devilfish says, how many times do you use a disposable razor? Zero, or not at least for like seven or eight years. I actually have a barber at the top of the road from where my pub is, um, and I, I haven't done it recently, but he used to shave me once a week with like um, a cutthroat razor, you know, like a proper razor blade. Um, uh, but now I just use like my electric razor because fuck shaving shavings for fags um ben pearson says are you a fan of richard aoday not really sure who that is um sammy nirvana <laughs> fucking hell what's with the sex questions 
how old were you when you first lost your virginity? Uh, I was the age I was when I first lost my virginity. Some things are best kept private, do you know what I'm saying? Uh, FIFA Mad Mitchell, when you started off YouTube, how did you think, how, how long did it think you would take? Okay, I think what he's trying to ask is how long it would take me to reach 100K subs. Um, I actually said that kind of like the mid, middle of this year that if I hit 100,000 subs by the end of the year, I'll be fucking delighted. So the fact that I'm sitting here now on like 125,000 is just, it's blown my mind. Like I generally can't express how happy I am and how awesome you guys that are watching this are. Um, it, it just like, it really, it makes you happy, you know, like it makes you feel like you've achieved something. I mean, it is, it is an achievement. And when I started YouTube, you know, it took fucking ages to get that first 1000 subs, you know, like a seriously long time. Um, but, you know, that, that's how it goes, and this is where I am now, and I'm really, really grateful, and really, really thankful, um, and long may it continue, you know, if my channel keeps growing, that'd be awesome, man, like, I'd be really, really happy if it kept growing. Um, next question we've got is Sterling or Walcott. In terms of pure ability, um, or potential ability, you've got to be looking at Sterling, because he looks really good, but Walcott looked really good when he was 16 and 17, and he's kind of not really gone up here he's kind of gone like like here you know like he hasn't really made it how you thought he would so sterling just needs to be nurtured into the game he doesn't need to be thrown in he doesn't need to be playing 30 or 40 games a season he needs to be playing 10 or 15 games a season to learn the trade master the game get that experience and then start throwing him in you know so um we'll see though uh, jack or says do you think you'll ever come to australia yes i will come to australia i've actually got a lot of friends in australia so um it could be any time soon uh, Josh says, who who do you think will win the Prem and who will be relegated? Um, I couldn't really tell you who would be relegated because you've got like QPR sat there on, what, four points, I think? I'm pretty sure it's four points, which is terrible, but they've got a really solid team. So you've got to think that hopefully they'll come through and start picking up points and wins and stuff. Um, who do I think will win the Premiership? Uh, I think Man United are going to win it. They just look really strong, really consistent. Um, I know Man City haven't lost yet, but they're drawing a lot of games. They're throwing away a lot of stupid points. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's a long campaign. But it'd be awesome to see if West Brom could stay up there, you know, because they're third right now after 13 games, and that's crazy. Um, the party boss says, if you were a girl for a day, what would you do? It's not about what I would do. It's about who I would do. And who would I do? Everyone. Because fuck life. Everyone deserves to get laid. Um... Charlie Ryder says, what tactics did you use at the start of a game? All out attack, defensive, possession and counter attack. Um, right now, when I start a FIFA game, I keep it on balanced and I don't really play any kind of D-pad tactics. It depends how the game goes. If it's a close game and I'm losing, I'll go to attacking or counter attack or um, all out attack. Uh, if it's a close game and I'm winning, I'll go to defensive. I never go to ultra defensive because your defense sits so deep that if you lose possession, they're just they're right on the edge of your box, you know, and it, it causes trouble. So I don't really think ultra defensive is good. I'll use counter attack if they're the sort of player that holds L1 or LB when they pass. Because if you hold LB or L1 and press pass, when you let go of LB, the player that passed the ball will run on and run forwards. If they're the sort of player that does that, all the time, they move all their players forwards, you know, so if they do that with a centre back as they pass it out, that centre back then makes a bomb bomb up field, you know, he runs up field, so I'll play counter of attack, counter of attack, counter attack, and, you know, just hit them on the break, and boom, their, their defence is out of position, so, you know, it, it works better, so it, it really depends on the, um, on the, the style of the, the team that you're playing, I guess. I've got an interesting here, an interesting question here from Easy Breezy, he says, do you remember your first real YouTube sub? Now, I don't know what a real YouTube sub is, but I guess it's someone that's been around for a long, long time. Uh, there's quite a f not quite a few, but a few, like a, a relative few people now um, that I see post comments, tweet me and stuff, that I know were around when I had 500 or 1,000 subs. There's a few faces, a few names that I sit there and I think, fuck, I used to play games with you. Like I used to talk to you on Skype or whatever. Um, and people that, I've got some people on my friends list, especially my Xbox friends list, I'm, but I'm pointing up there like you can see shit. My PlayStation's on and it's up there, so uh, my Xbox is there, which is why I pointed there. Um, people that are on my Xbox right now are from my first subscribers when like, I you know, first started playing games and stuff with, with subscribers. Um, and it's pretty crazy to see people, um, like 
just you know out there now like because quite a lot of my early subscribers are now youtubers themselves um which is pretty awesome um but no i don't really remember one specific person or name um but i do remember a lot of you like if if i see you post on on a video i'm like damn you've been around for time man so thank you to the dedicated people you know people that are still watching my video to this day that have watched since day one or like you know the early stages i really really appreciate your support like it means a lot to me and uh Again, long may it continue, you know. Um, Charlie says, do you own a onesie? If not, would you get one? I'm going to go and get my onesie. One second. Now, this isn't your stereotypical onesie. This is your, I've just got out of jail onesie. So, it's it's. It's a onesie, it's a pretty much onesie, it's more of a fucking prison suit, but this is what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. We got an Nepenthes sign on the back. That's actually me. That is that is me. One of my friends is a photographer and he took a photo. You can actually see that photo on my Facebook page, I think. Um, or my MySpace page, you can see that on there. And he took a photo and then he got it like professionally lasered or something and then he stenciled it and there you go. That's so we actually went out on a night out once with uh with all our onesies on, there was like, I don't know, like five of us or six of us, we all went out in onesies, that was pretty pretty awesome. People look at you like, what the fuck? But who cares, who cares, it was fun. Um, <clears throat> next question we've got is, who do you think is the best player to ever play in the Premier League and why? Thierry Henry, because he's amazing. Will you post your own music soon from Jonathan Dobbin? I've already got two tracks on my channel. Uh, if you wanna check them out, guys, go and check them out. They're pretty easy to find in there. Um, have I got more music coming? Yes. It's just really, really difficult right now. You guys will know, especially if you follow me on Twitter and stuff. Um, I'm really, really busy at work, like my real job. Not that this isn't a real job or anything, but uh, at my 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 prioritized job, I guess. My yeah, my like re in real life job. Um, it, really, really busy leading up to Christmas. Got a lot of work on. As I said in another video, uh, my brother's taking some time off, like he's going through a few things right now. Um, so I'm taking on his shifts and uh, it gets it gets a bit much and stuff. So working on music and working on my second channel, which I'm really gutted about by the way, guys. For those of you that are here and, uh, and watch my Need for Speed videos on the second channel, I will be getting more Need for Speed up. I'll actually be putting one up tomorrow on Wednesday because um, I get a day off from work then, so I'll be able to make one. But I'm gutted that I was unable to keep that going and like I really wanted to, but I had to go to work basically I had to go to you know I can't not work I can't say to my dad and to my family like no 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 I'm not gonna come and, and do my job let me just make a Need for Speed video like it doesn't work like that you know so it's it's a shame but I will get back on that uh, Need for Speed Need for Speed hype team um, The Chems said did you ever go to Belgium I've never been to Belgium yet no um, Carl says surely there's only again surely there's only questions in the world obviously People like my question times. I like the question times. I like answering your guys' questions because there's so many questions that people ask that I never get to answer because there's too many questions, you know, and you might be the sort of person that always gets missed because you don't, you know, only kind of the first people that reply to me on Twitter get their questions answered. So if you're the sort of person that answers like 10, 15 minutes later, you might not get your question answered. So hopefully this time I've kind of got all of those in. Uh, Trolsky says, or Trilowski says, did you still get that problem with your PVR like you did all last year? Yes. Um, so when I had the Hapag HD PVR, I get a blue screen just from time to time randomly for like three, four, five seconds, and I can't see shit, and then it just comes back as if nothing happened, you know? And I thought when I got the Elgato, that would change. And I spoke to Julian, the guy that owns Elgato, um, and told him about the problems I had with the Hapag, and, and he told me that that's actually a problem that they have on the Elgato, but they're working on a fix. And then he told me that they made a fix, um, but I don't know if, if it's me or my shit or what, but basically I still get it from time to time, rarely, but from time to time. Like I say, my screen just goes blue, like completely blue screen, can't see anything, and then it comes back on the game. And sometimes like when you're doing like a live commentary or something, or when, when you're just playing, like you know, sometimes you're breaking, it goes blue, you can't see anything, and it's, it sucks. But I've actually scored a few goals with the blue screen on before, so that's pretty awesome. Um, Brandon says, excluding Arsenal, who do you want to win the Premiership and Champions League and why? Uh, excluding Arsenal, I w I'd love West Brom to win the Premiership because fuck everyone else. Uh, who do I want to win a Champions League? Uh, Barcelona, because they deserve it and they are the best team. So, yeah. Um, next question we've got 
Aaron or Aaron, what's the fastest you have gone in your car? I went 132 miles per hour in my car and I didn't even realize until I looked at the speedometer. And then when I looked at the speedometer, I shat myself. Like it didn't feel like I was going that fast. But when you actually look at it, you're like, whoa, uh, could have died, could have died. Um, so we're getting towards the end of the questions, guys. I'm going to answer a couple more. Uh, how do you like Black Ops 2 so far? I really don't. I'm not really enjoying it at all. The connection issues are really bugging me. Uh, they seem to have been fixed on Xbox, but on PlayStation 3 they're still fucked. And I'm really, really bad at Black Ops 2. Like, really bad here. Like, COD 4, I was really good. Uh, Modern Warfare 2, I was really good. Like, I was, I, especially in a Search and Destroy or Team Deathmatch, I fucking love playing those. I would boss it all the time. Um, Black Ops, Modern Warfare 3, I was pretty good at, and then Black Ops 2, I'm just shocking at. Like, there's no denying it. My kill death ratio on the PS3 is like 1.09, and my KDR on the Xbox is like 0.8 or something. So I'm really, really bad. Although I haven't invested much time into it. Like, usually when a COG game comes out, I get it on the first day, I'll play it for fucking days and days and days. Um, but since uh, the last year, you know, I've been making videos on YouTube, really doing this a bit more extensively. I don't have the time to play it so much. So we're going to put that, put it down to that. We're going to put my negative Black Ops ability down to not being having, not having enough time on the game. Um, Paddy Fleming says, "Who would you most like to see Arsenal sign in January?" I think we've already covered that. Again, I'd like to see him sign Messi. Probably won't ever happen, but hey. Um, next question from Lewis Selwood again: uh, Do you find it awesome or find it hard? Even how you get to speak and to and listen to all your fans like myself. I don't really understand the question. Do you find it hard? Even I don't know, I don't really understand the question. Uh, he has asked another question just above though, so we'll answer that one. He says, final one, could you give me some suggestions just taking a 30 second glance of my, one of my videos or channels, channel, thanks, Nepo. Maybe I will, maybe I will. Uh, Jack Cart says, if you are going to watch a movie after making this, what will it be? Um, if I were gonna watch a movie after making this video, I would probably watch just something a bit light, light-hearted, something like, I don't know, just a comedy, that whatever's on the TV, really, um, whatever's on whatever Virgin are offering this week. Um, so we'll go, I think I've got a couple more questions up here that I just want to get through. Uh, entourage or Suits, Suits. Uh, would you ever face your subscribers in FUT or just online? I actually play subscribers quite a lot. Uh, one of the biggest problems is, obviously, 120, 125,000 subscribers, maybe only like 35 or 40,000 active subscribers, but only one of me. And a, a FIFA game takes 20 minutes, you know, so it's really hard for me to play a lot of you guys. So I actually played a guy today, I spanked him 9 1, it was a good day. <laughs> scored some really nice goals, scored some really sweaty goals as well, but it, it was pretty good. Um, but every now and then, when I'm at work and have a spare hour or two, I will go jump on the PlayStation and tweet you guys, whoever wants to play. So if you do want to get a chance of playing me again, guys, be sure to follow me on Twitter because that's where it's happening. Um, last question we'll do. Uh, what three more? Uh, do you know any gay people? Yes. Uh, so we're going to end it there, guys. Um, thank you so, so much for watching. I said this is only going to be like a 10 or 15 minute video. It turns out it's like 30 minutes long. Uh, hopefully, you guys, uh, hopefully you guys don't mind that. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I tried something a bit different in this video. I tried to be a lot more like my natural self, you know, like my out, like, because when I'm, I don't know, when I'm with people in real life, I'm a bit of a doofus, bit of a bit of a nerdy kid that I don't care if I make a bit of a fool out of myself and stuff and pull silly faces and make silly voices and shit. Um, so I thought, fuck it, let me just go all out on the commentary. Hopefully you guys liked it. Hopefully it's warranted a like from you. Uh, or a favor or a comment or a thumbs up or whatever we're calling it these days um, and yeah guys so thanks for watching again thanks for 125,000 subscribers that's so so awesome um, and I will see you later see you thanks for what yeah thanks thanks see you next time jizz